Hello, this is Julie. Welcome into the Thrifty Paper Garden. Well, I was able to get my vegetable garden in today just as the rain started coming down. So I did come in soaking wet, but it's an excellent feeling to know I have my vegetable garden in. And now I just pray for rain and sun and it to grow. So you'll have to excuse my hands today. They are a gardener's hands, but someone had requested that I do um, a little tutorial on how I make my velvet ribbon rolled roses. Recently I had shown that I had found some white velvet ribbon, and I like to make the rolled ribbon roses out of the ribbon. It just gives it a, a really neat texture to the flower. And I used this die. This is Flowers 3D. And I usually make the smaller flower. The larger one is a little more cumbersome and difficult to shape well. But the small ones turn out like that. And they just, like I said, they just have an interesting texture to them from the velvet and I cut some out and this is what you get and you can hand cut these you know by making you know spiral circles and cutting it out but of course the die is much easier and I have probably just about worn my die out but you just start rolling and I keep, keep it between my pointer finger and my thumb to keep all the layers level. And you just twist. And it's gotten so that I can just almost do this in my sleep. And I like to do it while I'm talking with my family or watching YouTube videos. But I just roll it. You get down to the end and there's this little round flat space and you just kind of adjust it. It takes a little time to figure out how you like it. And then I have, this is old Aileen's Floral Craft Glue, but what I like is it's, it's very tacky and it dries quick. And I got a bunch of this on clearance at Michael's a while ago and I really like it now because the older it gets, the tackier it gets and the faster it sets up. But I think Aileen's replaced it with their quick dry tacky glue. But again, the older the bottle is, it seems to work better. So then I just put a drop of glue right there. Put the circle on it. And you definitely could use hot glue. I don't like hot glue real well. As the the um, glue's strings drive me to distraction, which is one step away from driving me crazy, and that's not good. So anyway, I just hold it for a minute or two, and there you have a little bit of fuzz there. You have a beautiful rolled rose. Another material I like to use is felt and again it just gives it a nice texture with paper I it seems like you need to roll the edges and and work with it more to get it to look more like a a natural flower and then you can put two of them together and kind of get this look so you roll the first one and then roll the second one behind the first one and roll it and getting bigger. And you can put little pearls or whatever you want in the center. And a while ago I had gotten the Sizzix Pro, so of course sometimes bigger is better, we think. So I got the Flower 3D number 2, which is the Biggs Pro. And the large one is this large, which is probably about oh, four or five inches. But I did roll 
And I did find some uh, wider velvet ribbon, and this is about five and a half inches. And it fit the smaller of the two on the pros, big pros. And here is, it's not quite dry yet. I just started playing with it. I'm not real comfortable with my um, Biggs Pro machine. It's just massive. And you can imagine the pressure behind that handle when you press the dies through. So it's a little intimidating, but I'll... I'll play and find out about it. So this is the smaller of the two of the Biggs Pro die. So those are my flowers and I, like I said, I just make them while I'm doing, you know, talking with my family, watching TV, whatnot, and I just make them up by the bunches so when I want a flower for a card or a project I can just take them out of here. I will say with, especially with the felt, you get little fuzzy felt, and so oftentimes um, the white ones can get the yellow felt strands or the blue felt strands on them. So I would suggest that you separate your light felt from your dark felt flowers. So I hope that helps and inspires you to make these fun flowers and just try different material. I've tried different material that kind of shreds easily, frays easily, and that doesn't work real well, but some of the fabrics, and I, burlap might work, canvas might work, um, just cut out a bunch of stuff. That's what's wonderful about the Biggs dies, is they cut through a lot of material. So thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you later. Bye.